Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today, we are going to be showing you what we use for the wings in our previous craft episode, as well as what we will be using in our in every craft episode this month. It is this box of medieval figures for less than 15 bucks. Howdy everybody, this particular package of Knights and Dragons we got off uh, Amazon. Okay, like the little guy said, it's about 15 bucks. It's got this kind of cool lid with a, a sort of chasm bridge. We're going to try and use this later, but, well, it's not but as because it's so thick, we're, we're, we'd have we to really build it. up around it. And we may just end up keeping it for, you know, the lid for this container. But yeah. let's, let's jump right into it. Again, these are the wings that I'm using for this demon, and they came from one of the dragons in as this. As you can it, see, this came with a dragon, as yeah, well as another one completely. that we show. tore the wings we off. We tore his wings off to give our little demon lord here some, some wings. We may use this dragon for something else, but uh, honestly, it's a little, little derpy. But let's get on to the rest of this set. Yes, there was a small. There it's, was a small sheet of cardboard with a stone tile floor. Floor. We misplaced it. We might it. use if we can find it, but <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a nice little tiny little bonus. Uh, you know, if you get one of these sets, uh, you know, uh, you'll you'll see it at the bottom of the container. And it's just one nice little bonus that they added to it, but we needed we needed uh, some pieces that are in here, and instead of just buying, you know, uh, a smaller lot of army men, we just saw this and instantly saw all the benefits from it. Nice little tower roof. I'm definitely going to be using this in one of our projects later this month, along with the piece that goes under it just to save myself a lot of the hardest part of the, the, the craft. It has this kind of flagpole. I doubt I'll use it. I might use the actual flagpole, but the flag, I think I can do better just by using some baby wipes. But that have been dried and then soaked, well not soaked, but then have the glue water put on them. Yeah, it's not bad, but... But we can do way, yeah. way better. But the the main roof here definitely uh, will save me a lot of work in the last project of the month. That's all I have for you guys. Um, it's got a nice little catapult here. I thought it was actually spring action, but I guess not. And to be honest, it's, it's not as bad as I thought. It's definitely about half as good as the WizKids catapults I purchased from their uh, Marvelous Miniature line. It's got a couple of uh, catapult balls that you can uh, launch with it, I guess, if you figure out how. It's got this uh, basket of uh, catapult ammunition, these tiny little round balls that are definitely a choking hazard. They should have thought maybe make something a little bit bigger, but you know, uh, maybe we'll save them for cannonballs or something later. But, but we don't so much use them. Yeah. Those. The basket itself might actually come in handy for the lid of some sort of prison cell or oubliette or something like that. Um, again, you know, we Not don't really plan sure. on using it, but it's a nice little addition. I don't know who actually carries this. I thought at first maybe the horse, the horses. Uh, carry it into battle or something, I but it doesn't know. appear so. The the horse is probably the least usable item in normal scale 30 millimeter, 28 millimeter miniature Aside usage. But we, we may be able to turn them into something, you know, some mythical giant horses or a or, statue or, a statue or uh, something like that. But for the moment, we have no plans to use the horses. Actually, I thought we did. Um, I really... I really can't think of anything. Maybe centaurs, no, but I was again, just statues. Statues, maybe, 
Uh, the dragon, the, the dragon that we haven't butchered yet. We can just cut off his wings, give him much better wings. And yeah, he's not bad, um, honestly, for a smaller dragon. The pose is even decent, uh, but we we're, we've got you know a long list of dragons we're going to paint before we begin to work on this little guy. The ballista, while it's actually pretty decent. Uh, I, I, I'm more inclined to just mount it on the top of a tower. It also supposedly will shoot that sort of club-looking projectile, but I, I don't see that really happening. If you can, you know, get it to flick, you're going to get about a foot of distance, you know, for actual, you know, if a kid was to play with it as intended. But to just have a ballista on the top of a tower... I do think that it could be very useful. Yeah, um, definitely uh, put this into the mix for later on down the road, just not this one. The carriage that it goes on, that is... Extremely valuable. We are going to use the heck out of this. Uh, it probably won't roll when we're done with it. Uh, the it wheels. Might yeah, I, I think I might be able to manage it, uh, keeping super glue or any other glue out of... The, the axles and what have you, but I really hate these little, you know, uh, hubcap nubs that the wheels pop on. You have an on. idea to but, fix that. Yeah, I do have an idea to fix that, but otherwise... That, however, isn't necessary. By the way, in case you're wondering, we did buy this off of Amazon. Um, however, for some things, there are some alternatives. Uh, there's only one craft that these are absolutely necessary for. Right. The wings, we have another way to make them. Um... The next craft that uses that, there is also another way to make them. Most we that we haven't found, and the red thing isn't necessary whatsoever. The tower's not too shabby. You can actually fit one miniature inside it uh, with the round base. It, these, yeah, if you yeah. didn't have the round bases, you could clearly fit four four regular miniatures in there. But I don't remember how to. Because it doesn't click in. Yeah, don't worry about that. We're, 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 we're not going to use it anymore. Uh -huh. You might be able to use the flowers because there's an okay pattern. Yeah, for something else, maybe maybe a, a cage or something? You can probably use this for some sort of scenery. Some sort of elsewhere. If you put the right... Maybe a mini gazebo or a fountain. The battlements are, are actually decent. Uh, it would be nicer if they had a little stone pattern. But you could easily fix that, just cover the whole outside with milliput, which I may do for the final craft of the month if I decide to use this piece. But let's get on to the actual figures, which is the reason we bought this in the first place. Do we say what we're going to be making? Uh, well, we're making them in two days. You want to go ahead and give them a sneak preview? Uh, I'm going to put the knights away because we won't be using them. Actually, you mean the guys will... Yeah, we... Yeah, we, we we may butcher these guys up and, and put them in different poses. Yes, because I was thinking to use that type of helmet. That's going to be the hard part is, is 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 cutting them off without doing too much damage. But let's 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 show off. I, I do believe that we can. Let's show off the really cool ones, which would be this guy, these two guys. Most of these will be used as statues. Well, not most of them. Some of these will be statues. Others will be something that I have said many times I've been wanting to make. I won't say it today. Uh, however, but for, for, want, the, for Thursday's craft, many times. these are the four we're really going to be using. And most likely we'll find a way to cut one of those apart to make. Even even the archers wouldn't, wouldn't make bad statues. Uh, you're definitely going to want to cut off the base a bit, but they're, they're actually, they're, uh, the pose is actually kind of decent, and I can see in the middle of a town square or somewhere, you know, in, in a castle setting where you might actually have a large statue of an archer who maybe, you know, saved the day, took down smog, something like that. Uh, but these four right here will be in this week's craft. And possibly some of the other ones. We're not sure yet. They're actually pretty decent poses. This is my favorite of them all. I will fix the spears and give them something, you know, more Much realistic. These are, 
I guess they didn't want to put him too pointy, but the swords, you know, kid pokes himself in the eye with that, he's going to feel it. These, not so much. I, I don't well, know you don't obviously feel it, anything touching your eyes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very uncomfortable. But there you have it. It's a quick uh, review of this little play set that we found highly valuable, uh, more so than we thought when we first uh, ordered it, and we were surprised it actually got here in 24 hours, which is kind of amazing for, you know, 15 bucks. We really lucked out. So uh, hopefully you'll uh, pick up on our hints, and you'll uh, maybe you already have some of these figures, because I have noticed that these figures are also available all over the place, these, these exact figures. You may have them already, and if so, you can... You and know. you can, there's also many alternatives. Yeah, there yeah. Is once you see the... the tubes, basically, for the next craft, because the only thing these are essential for is the next craft. Yeah, everything else is bonus stuff for us, but we were, we are going to incorporate them into the next two videos, ne next two craft videos after uh, this Thursday. So if you've got these already in your collection, you're ready to go. It's going to be an easy craft. I'm sure you can probably kind of guess. What it's we're... almost just a repaint, not completely though. No, but we have a little bit of mods to do too. Yeah. Uh, a couple of uh, neat ideas for it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you Thursday. Have a great week, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, and that has been the Shadow and Sun Show. Good night, everyone, and always remember that I am human.